We envision a bright future for Africa, full of opportunities. By 2025, the continent will have a population of 1.2 billion, a 50% internet penetration rate, 600 million internet users, 360 million smartphone users, and a $300 billion internet GDP contribution. With a GDP of 1.5 trillion, the economy of Sub-Saharan Africa is comparable to Canada, Brazil, Russia, India, and Mexico. Additionally, its iGDP is comparable to that of Brazil, Russia, and Italy. At the cross-section of scale, technology, and talent, there are boundless opportunities to be seized. It will take ambition and boldness to nurture and realize these opportunities. That is the goal of Passion Incubator. Passion Incubator provides a platform that supports young, talented, and aspiring entrepreneurs in an endeavor to create profitable, technology-focused businesses across Sub-Saharan Africa. Our six-month program includes basic entrepreneurship training, product development, workspace, mentorship, and connections with investors and VC funds for a class of five early stage startups on average. In this endeavor, PI seeks to solve some of Africa's most important problems and create much needed job opportunities across the continent, helping tackle a 48% youth unemployment rate. Our team has a vast variety of expertise in areas that uniquely qualify us to accomplish our goal. Aside from having lived and breathed to the problems we see in Africa as Africans, as a collective, we have several years of management consulting, social entrepreneurship, technical, and marketing experience. We have also worked closely with founders and executive teams of US VC funded startups that have raised in the neighborhood of $25 million. In a recent interview, Mr. Falai, a PI co-founder, had this to say. Um, Passion Incubator is a um, technology accelerator that helps innovative entrepreneurs provide them with the necessary resources to launch lean startup. We, we call ourselves the North School for Startups yeah. for entrepreneurs because we take entrepreneurs, we accept entrepreneurs irrespective of their um, entrepreneurial background or pursuit or irrespective of their um, technological background. So we accept them even if they don't have any IT, any form of IT background, as long as they have a focus and they have an, a creative idea, an innovative idea, we, we, we take them to the next level. The idea was better in, um, in India while I was working in, in India with my colleague, Taiwadi Tumobi, that's a co-founder. Uh, he is based in the US. We, we worked on this idea together for a year, trying to figure out what, what's missing, what's the missing link? Yeah. Why, um, why is it that the tech ecosystem in Nigeria is, is why is, it, why is it that it's not growing as rapid as it should? And then we figured out that one of the major reasons is because it, the, uh, um, the barrier to entry for those that do not have technological background is still very high. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to bring it to that level where irrespective of your background, you could come in and you'll be embraced and focus on your idea and look for someone that complements your set skill. Yeah. So if it's the tech, the, tech, the tech side, I mean it's easy, you could outsource it. But focus on the idea, focus on um, um, on, the, on, 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 on innovation, focus on what, what problem you're trying to solve. That's, that's key for us. And then we, we built the idea, we developed the model while, while I was in India, and then we got funding, initial funding, which came in as a grant. Over the next year, we have several costs to cover to achieve our goal. These costs include product development, legal, and operational costs in the amount of $200,000. We are asking you, to help us raise a portion of that in the amount of $20,000.